Welcome back everybody to Joe's Bibles. I am Joe and today we are going to review this Bible. More specifically, it is the CSB Thinline Reference Bible in black genuine leather and my edition is the indexed one. I don't know if you can see that. Let's take a look at the outside first. The cover and the binding is genuine leather and it is nice and soft. This Bible has one of the softest genuine leather I've ever felt. And I'm not sure if it's pigskin or what kind of leather it is, but all I can tell you, it's nice and soft. It feels like Crossway Genuine Leather. It has perimeter stitching all around. And it also has no spine hubs. It has a gold foil stamping on the spine, which looks really nice. I don't know if that's going to hold up over time. But let me go back to the spine. There's no spine hubs. Um, but it has these really cool indentations. I don't know what you would call that, but it's actually tastefully done. So the size of the Bible is eight and a half by five and a half inches, and it is less than one inch thick, which I really, really love. It is a nice everyday carry Bible. Now, when you turn it over to the side, you're going to see the indexed pages, uh, but you're also going to see the gilded page edges too. It has a nice gold. When you open the Bible, you're going to see that it has a paste down lining. Because it's a paste down liner, this is not a premium Bible, but it's pretty close. I mean, I shouldn't say pretty close. I think it's really, really nice if you don't want to spend the money on a premium Bible. This also has a Smythe sewn binding, which makes the Bible very durable. This is, as we open the Bible here, you're going to see that it is in a double column format with center column references. Now, here's the cool thing about the references. If it is justified to the left, those references are going to refer to the passages on the left side. And then if it's justified on the right, those verses or those references are going to refer to the right side of the column. You can see there's footnotes at the bottom of the page. And when we turn to the New Testament, you're going to see that it is a red letter Bible, which means the words of Christ are in red. Now, a word about the red lettering. I think it's pretty decent. It looks more brownish red or burnt umber than it does red. I think it's really nice. Also, it's line matched, which is great for readability. The size of the font is eight and a half, which could be my major con for this Bible. It's small. But I think if you have good eyes, this will be a good everyday carry for you. Now at the back of the Bible, you're going to have a table of weights and measures and then the concordance. This has 71 pages of concordance, which makes this a good Bible to study from. After the concordance, we're going to have three pages of blank paper and then we jump into the maps. Now the maps are fantastic. Uh, they just look beautiful and they're not on glossy cardstock paper. It is thicker, heavier paper, but it's not glossy, which is nice. The liner for this Bible feels synthetic. I'm going to guess it's a synthetic liner. It does have one ribbon, one red ribbon, which I wish it had two, at least two. The price of this Bible is very affordable. The indexed version that I have is $58.99 and the non-indexed is $51.99 if you go through christianbook.com. The form factor of this Bible is probably the major pro for me. I loved it right out of the box. It's 8.5 by 5.5 inches. It's that perfect size for a Bible and then it's less than an inch thick. Excellent for putting into your backpack or into your messenger bag, which is what I use. So excellent everyday carry. Also, the genuine leather is really nice. I cannot emphasize that enough. For a Bible at this price range, the binding and the cover is really, really nice. Now here is the con for me. It's the font size. Eight and a half uh, may be great for some of you, but for me, I need something much larger because if I read this for a large amount of time, it would definitely cause eye strain for me. Other than that, I think this is a great, affordable, genuine leather edition of the CSB. Go and get yourself one. Again, thank you to Holman for sending me a review copy. That's it, everybody. Have a great day.